Archimedes' principle states that an object which is, uh, which is placed in a fluid uh, um, is buoyed up by a force that is equal to the displaced volume of fluid that it displaces. So uh, let's apply that to the floating case here. If an object, let's say, is floating like that, if, it, if the object is less dense than the fluid, it's basically going to displace a certain amount of fluid equal to the volume of the portion of the object that is sunk underneath the fluid. And the weight of that water is going to be equal to the, uh, the, the weight of the buoyant force is going to be equal to the weight of the object. So that's why the object is not going to sink. So in this lab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the, fill the container with completely full of water. I'm going to place a, an object there that's going to sink. It's going to be less dense than the fluid. The water is going to spill, okay? And then I'm going to collect that water. And then I'm going to weigh that water. And the weight of that water is, should be the buoyant force, okay? Because Archimedes' principle says that the object is buoyed up by a force equal to the weight of the water that the object displaces. So I'm going to weigh this water. That's the buoyant force. And since the object is floating, I know the buoyant force is equal to its weight. Okay, The buoyant force is equal to its weight. So therefore, I'm going to weigh the object, and it should equal to the weight of the water that it displaces. So let's see here. We have an object here that is less dense than uh, water. It is just wood. So let's weigh it first over here. You can have the, the balance here. So you could see it's about Twelve point three grams. So let's write that. The weight of the object. This uh, we're not really doing weight because we don't necessarily have to multiply by nine point eight. So we're just doing the its mass. So its mass uh, was twelve point three grams. So now let me place it in. I have this uh, cylinder. It's completely filled with water. I'm going to take this and place it in here. Now, I have to weigh this in advance because the water is going to spill in here. So let's weigh this. Its weight is uh, it's 200 plus 110. That's 310 plus 5, 315.1. So we have a beaker here. The beaker's mass is 315.1 gram. Okay. Now, let's take this beaker, take the cylinder, put it in the beaker, okay? Place the wood there. There is a little bit of error here because water tends to have a cohesive property. So it doesn't want to leave. So it's going to get stuck to the sides of the cylinder. It's going to prevent it from all dripping. So let's try to get all of it, as much of it as possible to drip here. So the wood now displaced some amount of water. So this is the whole physics of how do ships travel on the sea. The ship is huge, but it's less dense than water. So it displaces a weight of water. Since its volume is big, it displaces a weight of water that's huge. 
and that weight of water is equal to the weight of the ship, and that's why the ship doesn't sink. So let's now weigh this. Okay, 100 and that's three, uh, 200, 320, 325.8. 325.8. So when the water was displaced, I weighed it together with the beaker. Now let's subtract this 325.8 minus 315.1. I'm expecting that I'm not going to get as much water as I should because of the cohesive property of water. So let's see here, 701, 10.7 grams. And the, uh, the mass of the of wood was 12.3. So about 1.6 grams less than it should, which is very, very little, okay? So some of the mass stayed on and, you know, uh, instead of dripping, maybe stuck to the walls of the cylinder. But that is pretty close. So we have now shown that an object which is floating displaces a certain amount of water, which is equal to the, its own volume that is sinking underneath the water. And the weight of that uh, uh, water is equal to its own weight.